What's good? Let's analyze some video game music. So, I let people in my Discord chat suggest songs from game soundtracks for me to listen to and try to analyze live as I hear it. If you want to catch one of these without edits, you can check out case.dog slash stream. Okay, so Janie Bean suggested one because it's in 15-8 time. So, let's go from a simple easy one to one that's probably going to break my brain. It is Face My Fears Boss 2. Let's check this out. Also a pretty short one. Okay, so we got a lot of like, I think that's either chordal or quintal. That sounds like chordal harmony and doing some extra atonal stuff on top. Very chip tuny. I don't know if this was done with the sound font or if this was done with a emulation of some kind of sound chip. It sounds very Nessie. Oh, that piano bass. It is rising. Okay. Harmonically, this is all over the place. Very threatening. Okay, whoa, this is something. Tension's just oozing. Yeah, this is a fucking boss theme. It's definitely, like, the one thing that's really interesting about early, um, and this is definitely trying to emulate, like, the, like, NES sounds, is really early NES games often had weird time signatures, like Bowser's Castle from the original Mario game wasn't exactly 4-4, four, four, and you can hear it, and it almost sounds like a sloppy loop. It almost sounds like it doesn't totally finish the bar. 15-8, it's like almost 4-4, four, four, but you take out 1 16th note. It's hard to wrap your head around, um, but meter-wise, it's like you just swing one of the beats in it and then don't put it back. So let's, let's try to actually hear what this is doing. Holy sh hang on, I have to slow this down. There's no way I can hear what's going on. So we start, like, there's a, there's a, like, crash on, like, a... ...low C that introduces everything, so I'm gonna guess that that's also what some of this is based on, but it, you know, that could just be an extra... ...an extra thing, as everything else is atonal, so let's see. Okay. So the first note on that on this upper part is also an is also a C. I think that's what it's doing. Crack the code. This is a this is a very intricate. Okay, so it's def it's doing a lot of tritone movement. I think that's it. That's, that's okay. And it throws that upper, I think that's it. Upper C up there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Okay. I 
I think that's what it's doing. It's, okay, so it's using a lot of like tritone movement when it does this. Because that first interval is a tritone. And then it goes to a fourth. And then steps around. Steps around the C. So it does two half steps around the C, giving the impression of like falling. Then it hits this random upper octave C. And then it keeps going down. That is also a tritone when it steps down. I think. Okay, and it sounds like it could be triplets because the there's a there is a very steady kick pulse that sounds like it could be in four four. Three one two 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 three. Oh, okay. I've cracked the code. Okay. So the this is doing quarter notes in a five four bar. So the the fifteen like that whole thing. That's doing triplets. So it's not okay. So it's it's like one one two three. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. So that's doing triplets above, and it seems to not be... We are in C of some kind, so says the drone at the beginning. So if we follow the triplets and follow the first note that this, that every triplet starts with, we might be able to figure out what the chord progression actually is. So that's one, two, three, one. So we have a one, two, three, 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 one. And then that brings us back to C. Okay, one, so one, two, three, one, two, three, one. Two, three, one, two, three. I, oh my God. My instinct says what it's doing is. Like this kind of. I think that's mainly the harmonic motion that's going on here. Okay, and then we have... I think that's what that chord is. Yeah, so there we have our, our good friend, the chordal chord. I don't know what it is about boss music that loves this, this... Just going up fourths. What time did I start working with this song? Oh god, I don't remember. I've been lost in 15-8 in time here. And that one little accent note is also still a C. Is that stepping up sevenths? No.
That's also Quirtle, I think? No. Yes? I'm wrong. It sharpens it. It sharps it. Which makes this upper one a tritone. So it's f***ing with the chordal harmony a bit. It's not doing that, it's doing... Which is more threatening. And it plays that, uh, chordal chord under it. So this next, like, upper... When the upper accent comes back, it spells out a C diminished. So we're just, this whole thing is fucking with C. It's not allowing C to be tonic. Whenever, if, if there's a C going on, there's a tritone with it, there's like chordal notes, there's diminished stuff going on, it's crazy. Then we get this uh, tapping on fourth. which enforces the quartal nature of this whole thing. And we have that minor seven in that little backing synth, which is also, that's a quartal tone. Is there a note there I'm missing? While the piano's doing that chordal thing, the bass is hitting a tritone below it, which makes this funky. I don't know what that chord is. D flat major seven flat five, which is everything in this is outside of normal traditional harmony. It does something like that. Just going all over the place, like rising up these... Sort of tones. And then it gives us that like, chordal kind of chord again, but with the sharpened... Sharpened four. So this seems to be like rising up half steps and whole steps, like doing the same sort of phrase. It's just doing that. So it starts doing like a one, four, then goes to the half step, and then jumps up a tritone, and then it repeats that sort of thing over and over again. It's doing something like that. And then once it gets to the top, it starts doing a little bit more like weird arpeggiation. And then it... And it ends
ends on C, which it which sounds really weird because like the context that it hits it. The context in which it hits it makes it a tritone of, of what it was just tonally doing before. But it is the note that it started with. It just finds a way to um, make it not seem like the tonic. I don't have enough keyboard to do that whole rise. just keeps going. <laughs> and it goes back to that, that upper twinkly phrase. And I believe it fades out from there. Five, three, four, five. Okay, that was hell. That was insane. Um, uh, this is how, this is like extreme <laughs> boss music. It's got everything. It's got tritones, it's got uh, chordal chords, it's got rising up chordal chords and then f***ing with the chordal chords, that kind of stuff. It's got crazy like half step motion. It's got all of it. This is from Eichenfell. It was suggested by Janie Bean. That was insane. It's 5-4, it's got triplets between the 5-4 beats, it's in C, but moves around so much that you never get to like a major or minor version of C. It's all tritones or chordal around C. It has a lot of like really threatening, non-resolute movement. This is the boss theme of all time, I will say. It, it hits all the marks and just runs f laps around with them. Thank you to Janie for that suggestion. That was crazy. All right, if you liked my analysis, hit the like button. If you wanna see more stuff like this in the future, hit subscribe and the bell to make sure you see when new videos go live. And let me know what you think. Does this song evoke any memories from your childhood? Is there anything you think I missed or glossed over? Leave a comment below. I just started doing this kind of thing, so I'd appreciate your feedback. And uh, if you want to catch me live, you can check out case.dog slash stream. And if you want to submit a song yourself, you can go to my Discord channel for it at case.dog slash VGM. I'll see you around.